All right, thank you, Robert. The consumer is bouncing back, albeit slowly. We know this. What we don't know is where and on what they are spending all that cabbage on. Well, we will in two minutes. That's because Brian Hamilton is here, CEO of SageWorks, with an exclusive breakdown of his latest study. Brian, welcome back to the show. Yeah, hey, Chris. How are you today? Very well. Now, what did you find from your latest survey? Cars. Automobiles are back, and people are spending more money, which is great. Is this more a function of the fact that in 2009, 2008, people bought fewer and fewer cars, and now they're just kind of getting back to trying to get back to those normal levels, as we saw previously with the 14 million annualized units and whatnot? Yeah, exactly. It's a great point. In 2008 and 2009, the industry was really suffering, as you know. But people are tired of dro driving around their jalopies, so they're all <laughs> buying cars now, which is great. And I think it will be a good leading indicator for the economy. You, so you expect that to continue, at least in the automotive sector, moving through 2011? I think so, yes. And it really bodes well, because remember, Chris, there's a lot of tangential industries around the autos, so it should be good. Now, when you talk about used cars, though, that was for a while there. People were buying used cars. They couldn't afford to pay all that money for a new car. Right. It's a depreciable asset. As soon as you drive it off the lot, the value drops. So I'm going to buy a used car instead. Will that trend continue, or will people now start to move more toward the new cars? Yeah, it's a great question. That category is up as well. But the, the key thing is this, Chris. Big picture is people are spending more money, right? They're loosening their wallets, which really bodes well for all of us. Some of the other categories, uh, health and personal care, beer, wine, and liquor right. stores, I, I saw was uh, right behind they, they that never go, on your list. Yeah, it never goes down, does it? It's incredible, right? So it's a good business to be in if you want to be uh, sort of, uh, you know, cushioned against the recession. But remember, all those other categories are flat. So the big picture there is very important. Uh, really, in 2008 and 2009, retail was going down substantially. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind of flattening. I wouldn't make too much of a big deal, though, about those increases because they're very mild, Chris. Now, when you look at, yeah, very modest increases, that was going to be my next question. How does that compare a 5% increase, say, uh, you know, a 3% increase in health and beauty, 2.5% increase? Right. Is that a great jump or not very much compared to previous years? No. It's not. No. You know what? Well, it's definitely a great jump compared to 2008 and 2009. Yeah. All those categories were down. So it's good. And, you know, I, we speak about this all the time. Things in the privately held company sector are flattening, which is not super, but it's much better than it was two years ago when things were going down. 2008, 5% decrease. 2009, 3% decrease. So now things are flattening, so the trend is positive. Well, this is a good point you make because at SageWorks, you guys are looking at, at more of the smaller companies. I mean, it's, it's not, I'm not saying it's all mom and pop, but if it's privately held right. companies, a lot of them tend to be smaller as opposed to the big Fortune 500 retailers that are out there. So right. there, there are obviously differences in how the smaller companies are operating through this recovery than some of the larger players, right? right? Well, it's a great point. There's 26 million companies in the U.S., only 4,000 of which are publicly traded so the vast amount of economic activity is generated by these smaller privately held companies yep. all right brian thank you so much always good to touch base with you we'll do it uh, in the near future great thanks so much all right brian